We're looking to see if this increased level of P62 can block the formation of human Alzheimer-like symptoms in the Alzheimer mice. In individuals that have Alzheimer's disease, individuals that have uh, died from Alzheimer's disease, the amount of P62 in their brains uh, is, is actually quite low or even non-existent. So P62 might actually be a risk determinant for individuals um, to later develop Alzheimer's disease um, with increasing age. Well, I really see two potentials. One potential is a screening potential. We could start to develop thresholds using P62 as what is known as a biomarker to predict the onset of Alzheimer's disease and maybe someday then be able to modify disease onset. And secondly, if elevated levels of P62 protect the brain against the development of Alzheimer's, we would be able to then go after therapeutics to increase the levels of P62 in mice and then subsequently test those compounds in humans as an effective treatment for Alzheimer's disease.